President Trump's former chief strategist vows to go after vulnerable Republican senators in next year's midterm elections. Just weeks after leaving the White House, Steve Bannon is targeting Republicans he views as standing in the way of the president's agenda. He promises to use his influence to support more populist challengers. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill with Bannon's plan and GOP reaction to that plan. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Yes, yeah, some Republicans worry that Bannon's crusade, as he outlined in that 60 Minutes interview with Charlie Rose, is going to cost them their narrow Senate majority. They believe that the candidates he favors would not fare well against Democrats in swing states. But Bannon insists he isn't hurting the party. He's remaking it. People that are not supporting the president's agenda that are coming up for election in 18, they ought to understand they're going to get primaried. In his interview with 60 Minutes, Bannon issued this warning to Republican lawmakers who crossed the president. There's not going to be an opportunity to be a never Trumper, okay? You're either going to get with the program and with the president's program and have his back, or you're going to be held accountable. And maybe have a primary challenger. Absolutely, 100%. Bannon has already vowed to take down Arizona Senator Jeff Flake, Alabama Senator Luther Strange, and Nevada Senator Dean Heller. He's backing more populist or conservative challengers like Nevada attorney Danny Tarkanian. Tarkanian has run unsuccessfully for office in Nevada five times and met with Bannon last week. He told me that he and uh, uh, Breitbart's going to be 100 percent in my race and supportive of me and that we can count on him. Now that he's not in the White House, Bannon is free to use his ties to wealthy donors and his widely read website to fire warning shots at Republicans like Tennessee Senator Bob Corker, who recently said the president lacks stability and competence. Corker is debating whether to run again in 2018. Some top Republicans, like John McCain, view Bannon's threats as a nuisance. Do you think the party would be stronger if several incumbents were unseated? That's what he believes. I'm supposed to comment on what Steve Bannon believes. <sighs> Good night. But other Republicans don't dismiss Bannon's plans quite that easily. As one top Republican aide put it to me, Nora, every dollar that Bannon spends on one of these primaries is a dollar that Republicans need to spend protecting their incumbents instead of going after Democrats. Nance, thank you. John McCain, never one to mince words. Thank you. Oh, I like that tactic. Just say goodnight. Conversation over.